So today we are going to make uh, French bread. Uh, they are also known as baguettes. Uh, they are very famous in France and they obviously have been originated over there. Uh, now uh, French breads and baguettes mostly, uh, they are baked in a very unique tray in which they have a nice curve underneath. Okay, I will be showing it to you later. And again, one more thing is that they are long in shape. Okay. And they are smaller, like the uh, this thing, the breadth is smaller. Okay, so long and breadth. and one more thing is uh, they have a nice crispy texture on top of it. So that is what French bread is. And uh, today, what we are going to do, we uh, the bread itself doesn't have any egg inside it. Uh, the only egg we use over here is only on the top to brush. Okay. So we are going to do a eggless as well as the wedge version of it. I will be telling you over there only what I can use for the uh, wedge version of the French bread. Ingredients used are refined flour, yeast, sugar, salt, fat, water and poppy seeds. We are going to start with refined flour first. Remove it on your table and make a nice swell in between. Next ingredients is your fresh yeast. I am using fresh, uh, it's also known as compressed yeast. Then your sugar, grain sugar. and then some water we are not going to mix it for a longer time just a small amount of time ok just to make sure the yeast, sugar and water is mixed together that's it and then you can slowly start taking in the flour inside it ok Keep on mixing it with the flour and keep adding water. I have been telling you from the start that keep adding water slowly to it. Don't add water all together to it. Okay. Add water and start mixing it. Add water and start mixing it. First I am going to try and uh, make a mix uh, like or uh, not exactly a dough you can say in this case but i'm trying going to try and bring all the ingredients together over here once all the ingredients are together then only i am going to start kneading it this is the method where i use my palm to uh, knead okay that is when you exactly get your dough Keep kneading it with your palm when you're kneading it what is happening is you're removing all the lumps out of it so keep kneading it make sure there are no lumps inside in your dough you will not get a good dough or a good bread if you there are lumps inside in your dough so make sure you knead it very nicely French bread is a dough in uh, French bread is a bread in which the dough requ we require is a little stiff dough because we don't want the bread to be very soft. We want the bread to have a nice uh, crispy texture on top. That's the reason we do not be, uh, put too much of water inside it. We put only that m enough of water that you can you would be able to handle the dough over here. One more important thing about the French bread is that you need to give them steam. The steam is something which will give your bread a nice crispy texture as well. It will harden up on the top okay and you also need to put it on like they are baked at 200 degrees celsius and later they are baked at uh, 100 degrees celsius for drying 
now we are going to put fat inside it we are not going to put too much of fat and salt just cream it together too much of fat we are not going to so only 2-3 grams of uh, fat goes inside it and around 5 grams of salt and that goes inside it and then you start kneading it keep kneading it nicely make sure all the fat is incorporated inside it properly again uh, your uh, fat is not compulsory but we do put that's the reason uh, in comparison to your normal recipes what we make in college this uh, recipe has less amount of fat inside it keep kneading it nicely once the kneading is done you can uh, round up the dough make sure you round up the dough and tighten it in the base it's very important don't make a loose bread and you can keep it on the table also for proving i am keeping it on a tray for proving put a damp duster on it make sure you remove all the water which is there in your duster you can keep a bowl also on top of it just make sure the bowl is a little bigger in size and you put the duster like this and let it go for proving now we are going to grease the tray greasing is very important so wherever i am going to put my uh, shaped french bucket i am going to grease only that uh, place You require a very small amount of flour, so dust some flour for rolling. Take the dough, knock back the dough. If it is too sticky, you can use a little flour on your hand also. Start molding it first, start with the sides and then from the top. Make sure there is no gap left while molding okay make sure you pun pun pinch it in see how you i'm doing it with the thumb and continue doing it i'm not leaving any gap in between and keep doing that and just roll it nicely now they make made in two types one is in which uh, uh it's a batten shape okay and one in one is in which it is tapering on the ends uh before as you saw i sealed the corners okay at the uh, where you've ended up the rolling it's very important otherwise the bread will open up wherever you have grease this is more like a batten shape just make it as long as the tray is lift it up and place it on the uh, place where it was greased this will go for proving before that we are going to apply milk you can also apply egg wash for color i am going to put little sugar inside in the milk mix it and this can be used as a milk wash on your French bucket. Uh, this is more like a wedge version. If you want, you can also apply egg wash on top of it. Take a brush and apply it on top of it. With the egg, you get a better crust. This is uh, the whole idea behind putting the sugar in uh, on the top is to get a nice brown color and then i am going to sprinkle some poppy seeds on top of it and then give them caches always use a very sharp uh, tool over here i am using a blade and this goes for proving now bake it at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes.